Welcome to the Immigrant's Way podcast with the immigration attorney, Margaret W. Wong, with over 40 years of experience. Enjoy. Hi. Today, we're here to talk about the employer-sponsored green card process. You may have heard the terms EB2 or EB3. That stands for Employment-Based Second Preference or Employment-Based Third Preference. If your employer is willing to sponsor you for the green card and you are in an advanced professional category, that would be the EB2. That means your job requires at least a master's degree or at least a bachelor's degree and at least five years of experience. Everyone else is going to be in the EB3 category. That means jobs that require a bachelor's degree or jobs that require at least two years of experience. So that means professionals or skilled workers. Now, what is the process for the employer sponsor process? It starts with what's called labor certification, also known as PERM. Labor certification is a test of the local market. That means you have to advertise the local job in the newspaper and other local media to see if there are any qualified U.S. workers available for the job. If a qualified U.S. worker applies for the job, then the process stops. And if you want to continue the process, you have to start over again. If no qualified U.S. workers are found, then you get to move forward with the labor certification with the Department of Labor. If the Department of Labor approves that labor certification, then you move on to the second step, which is the I-140, the employer petition. For the I-140, we have to prove that, number one, the employer has the financial ability to pay your salary, also known as the prevailing wage, and number two, that you actually qualify for the sponsored job. That means you have the necessary education or experience that was advertised before. Once the I-140 is approved, then your priority date or the date that your labor certification was filed is now locked in. Depending on what your country you're from, you may be able to file the third and last step, which is the I-485 or the permanent residency application right away. Most countries, there is no backlog. However, if you are from China or India, you may have to wait several years before you can file the I-485 because we have a quota system for green cards in the United States. Only a limited number of people can apply for and get their green cards each year for each country, for each category. Because there are so many applicants from India and China, you may have to wait in line for your priority date to come up. For India, that could be up to 10 years. For China, it could be four or five years. So the important thing to do is to start this process as soon as possible, because the date that your labor certification is filed is your priority date, which places you in line. So for your I-485, the last step, that involves fingerprint appointment. It involves a medical examination. If you have any criminal issues or security issues, that's where those are disclosed. You also have to prove that you are maintaining your legal status when you file your I-485. So it's important that you maintain your legal status through this whole process unless you meet one of the few limited exceptions. If you want to start one of these processes, please get in touch with us. Parker Wong and Associates.